It's been almost two months since we last spoke, my loyal subs of 44. Much has changed. I moved into a house. I'm sober, but still stoned. I'm chain smoking as per usual, but in a new twist of events, I've gone vegetarian. That's right, all the animal videos on various social media have finally gotten to me. I'm soft on the issue, and the only thing I can do for the animals is eat vegetables. But I'm not going to judge a motherfucker for eating meat. My Filipino associates have told me that in China, they eat aborted fetuses. Now, I can't speak to the facts on that claim, and although I find it on a moral level disgusting, I'm also caught between different strokes for different folks, and at least they didn't throw it in the garbage. One night, <clears throat> or one day, I was high as a motherfucker wandering around the supermarket. And I happened upon the meat section. I'm standing there thinking, how many dead animals am I looking at? And in my stone stupor, I tried to calculate all the pounds of meat and how much each animal weighs. Needless to say, it overwhelmed me to the point of vegetarianism. And I'm not gonna lie, I've learned some discipline from being vegetarian. It takes a certain kind of motivation and creativity to master the undertaking. To compensate for booze, I've been eating hot peppers. They give me a real kick in the nuts. And the euphoria reminds me of mushrooms. I bet you're asking, why the changes? Why all the personal shit? I thought these were supposed to be game reviews. The answer, March of the Penguins for the Game Boy Advance. As much as I hate to admit it, I grew up in the suburbs, a place where entitled, upper middle class fucks were the next generation on an assembly line to further produce a long legacy of entitled, upper middle class fucks. Like most, I have a duality of affection for my parents, balancing love and resentment. I have great appreciation for the life skills and opportunities they gave me, but the subtext and vanity of suburbia always disturbed me. For a long time, I've fantasized about being a father. I even came close to finding, or rather believing, I found the person to start a family with. I projected a lot on that relationship, and so did she. I began to see all the things I criticized about my parents' marriage come out of us, and it scared the shit out of me. Not just that, but it became existential in a way when I began to form these strong parallels between Nova and my mother, which was weird to me, considering Nova's black. You know, I've never heard of an interracial Oedipus complex before. Or, uh, is it just Oedipus Complex? <sighs> Anyhow, I called off her engagement in the end. If it continued, my greatest fear could have been realized, or maybe it wouldn't have. I guess we'll never know. I don't want to go into details as to why Nova and I didn't work out, but rather, here's March of the Penguins for the Game Boy Advance. Chapter 1. Journey to the Breeding Grounds. The goal of chapter one is to advance to the next chapter by collecting at least 12 snowflakes and navigating all the penguins of the breeding colony before time runs out. But don't get your hopes up. You'll never make it. Just like Nova and I. First of all, look at how long this fucking course is. It's fucking ridiculous. There are a million things to take into consideration. You gotta make sure they jump on ledges. You gotta make sure they don't fall off cliffs. And when I do, I mean, the penguins, they end up back at the beginning. And when I, uh, I, I mean the penguins, get distracted, she's got to lure them back with fish. And sometimes I'm on a cliff and I'm telling her there's no way we're going to survive that. And she's like, you're a pussy, just fucking jump. And I'm like, what about the pitfalls and all the ice we have yet to melt? And I turn back and she's like, I mean the, I mean the penguins. All right, I'm talking about the penguins. Yeah. God damn it. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm through with the games. I want a family, but I accept now that I won't feel ready till I feel established as an artist. So until then, all I want is good company that'll help my days rise to that dream and good fucking to fall asleep to at night. <laughs> I guess that's what this Game Boy Detox has all been about. A reflection on where I've been and 
charting the destination I'm headed. As for March of the Penguins, I think Bowling for Columbine would have been a better documentary to turn into a video game. Hell, An Inconvenient Truth would have been a better video game, documentary game. <sighs> Fuck. P.S. In case you were wondering, Chantel Barbosa has officially been cast as Lady Rustback. Nosferatu. <laughs>